feel yourself here in the room, present, whatever it is you're sitting on. Taking some moments to really ground, land, and sink. And letting the weight of the body be heavy. Settling into your seat. So in this meditation, we're going to almost like slow everything down. Just really look at what happens in the mind. When we identify with the streaming consciousness of thoughts, feelings, sensations. Little by little, we're just going to look at these assumptions. And in our looking, you'll experience a natural unhooking, unclenching release of these assumptions. So just take whatever is most immediate and forward in your experience. Maybe it's a thought. A thought that is coming with the feeling or sensation in your body. Maybe it's just a raw feeling, an emotion. And just take your time with it. Take your time in settling into whatever your relationship is with that thought or that feeling. It's like almost like landing face to face with whatever it is that you're experiencing. And you can see that even just in your landing into whatever your experience is, in this way, begins to kind of have a different relationship with it. Just honoring or respecting the sensation for what it is, or allowing it to be as it is, just by letting it be. letting yourself be. I want you to really look carefully 
by looking, and I don't mean just with your eyes, I mean with the whole entire sensing, feeling, being, awareness. So looking and awareness doesn't just come visually. Looking and awareness is a whole system endeavor. It includes all your senses, your sense perceptions, and then some. So in this way, with the whole entirety of your being, your awareness, look at what is this thought made of? What is this feeling really? There's no force in this. You're not trying to make it into anything. All you're doing is noticing what you notice, feeling what you feel, sensing what you sense. Immediately, without any time interval, without any spatial gap, It's as if you just wholeheartedly say yes to whatever it is that's here to feel, to think. that whatever it is that you were feeling or thinking may not be here in the same way. Something else, maybe a little more subtle. And the feelings, the thoughts become still and quiet in something more fine, more subtle, more quiet, bubbles forward. I invite this in just the same way. Is the very heart, the very substance of whatever it is that this subtlety of a feeling of a thought is. What is it made of? continuing this way with whatever thoughts or feelings, sensations, assumptions, intentions, associations, memories, whatever arises, just have the same kind of open seeing, the same kind of curiosity to really look and see what is this 
freely. What's it made of? What is it? And now begin to include the physical sensations and the seeming fact of physicality that you have a body into this inquiry. What's it really? What's it really? Not what I've heard about the body, not the 10,000 things that I've learned about it, I've assumed about it. What is the body now? In the direct immediate experience of now. What is it? Just continue to extend like this into everything that you perceive as the world or the environment around you. Really interested deeply in what's it made of. Now, here. begin to invite whatever other surrounding subtleties are here that pretend they have some difference, some density. By now you will be experiencing kind of spaciousness and emptiness. Just notice whatever is pretending it is dense or different from the spaciousness. Welcome it in. And get curious about what is it really? What's it made of? Take your sense of I, your sense of me, and the part of you that thinks or believes it's having an experience of this spaciousness or emptiness or thoughts or feelings. What's this I 
me, mine, sends. In its very core, in its very heart, what's it really made of? Just notice how the mind naturally becomes more quiet and still. You're not making it happen, it just is. Just continue like this, whatever arises in your field of awareness, see it all the way in to its core, all the way seeing what it's made of. Any hook, any attachment, any preference, any thing. Including awareness, consciousness, spaciousness. What are these concepts made of? now you might have noticed that everything that you're experiencing seems from your direct experience to be made of the same stuff. Suchness. Satchit Ananda. Truth, consciousness, bliss. very substance that makes up the world of things. same way allow Satchitananda, this substance that is consciousness, be 
be seen through? What is it really? If it's all one consciousness, and there's nothing different from this, what is it? Is it really consciousness if there's nothing else? say this is the act of offering in consciousness. Everything is offered up, given way, given away. to anything if it's true I will be here tell that the consciousness reveals its empty nature, its unmovable, unnameable, reality. And it's real because it has nothing to do with change, time progress, progression. It's the isness and that's even closer than is. It's the is prior to language or thought or feeling, sensation or consciousness. It's ising so perfectly it's outside of duality. That's why it doesn't come and go. Groundless ground of your being. So, although it's not created by the mind, this reality, the mind is affected is stilled, is quieted, is made serene. This real
quiets everything. It's the mother of all things. It's complete equanimity. Untouchable in light of mind, and yet the birthplace of it. 